Meta AI has updated Llama. We now have Llama 3.2, and it's said to be one of their best models. It is open source. You can fine tune, distill, and deploy anywhere, and it's now available in more versions. So I'll be doing a quick review of Llama 3.2, specific to SEO and content writing, to see how the content compares to Llama 3.1, and if there's been an improve in sort of the output quality that we're getting back. So what I did was I first went ahead and prompted the AI to write in an SEO optimized format using my SEO prompts. If you want to um, use these prompts, there will be a link below this video where you can download for completely free. And then I told it to create an outline for the topic, 10 reasons for denying student visas in Canada and how to avoid it. And as you can see, we actually had a really in-depth um, outline. So we get 10 reasons why, um, and we just get a really complete um, output so i'm really excited to see what the full article article will look like because this is very promising so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy over my prompt for to write the full article very very simply so if you watch this channel you know that this is a a a staple process in which i use because it works well i don't necessarily use other models as much um, i prefer to use claude but if there's models that i find that are really well then i definitely will start using them more and more so this is the um, output that we're getting back. First thing that I notice is that Meta is pretty fast. As you can see here, the article is pretty quick, right? It's writing pretty fast. I think it, I would say it's faster probably compared to Claude. Um, and it seems to be following the instructions pretty well. So studying in Canada can be a dream come true for many international students. However, navigating the student visa process can be overwhelming and the fear of denial is real. Da -da -da. In this article, we go through 10 ways or 10 reasons why your visa can be disapproved. So in terms of word count, it is kind of short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually see if I, if I can expand it. So this is my prompt to expand the article. And we're going to see how this does. And while that's writing, I'm actually going to go ahead and test the AI score just out of curiosity to see if this is actually going to bypass AI detectors. So we're going to scan this on originally.ai to see our AI detection score. Let's get back over to Llama. And this is the expanded article in which we get back. It is a little bit longer, but it's reached its word limit for this prompt to continue type a more specific prompt. So there are some limitations right now when we're using the chat box, as you guys can see here. So we were able to write 700 words, but again, it's not uh, continuous. So let's actually tell it to manually continue. I think it should, yeah, it should be able to manually continue. So right now we're at 700 words. Let's see. How high we can get in terms of a word count so it added in maybe about a hundred words because this is kind of repeated so less than a thousand words we're able to get back from meta ai in terms of output but again i would say the output quality isn't too bad there's a lot of list um i probably would like to have a little bit more paragraph content i do like lists it's more skimmable easy to read but i also like to have the combination between lists and paragraphs because that makes for a more real article where you can get more information like you know this is a very important topic so i don't want to necessarily feel like i'm reading a checklist i want to feel like i'm reading really in-depth information so that's where i think this lacks is is the in-depthness that i would get if i were to use something like claude so in terms of originality score it is a hundred percent likely to be ai so i wouldn't bet on bypassing ai detectors using meta ai at least for now uh, I wouldn't say Meta AI is up there with ChatGPT or Claude, but it's definitely an alternative that would be on par with Gemini. Um, Meta AI would be a decent option. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.